Welcome to Ezekiel Academy YouTube channel. In this lecture, I want to examine internal audit. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please like the video and also share it with others. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. So, internal audit. Internal audit can be defined as an appraisal system established by the management for the review of the accounting and internal control systems as a service to the entity. Internal audit can be defined as an appraisal system established by the management for the review of the accounting and internal control systems as a service to the entity. Internal audit can be defined as an appraiser system established by management. Established by management for the review, review of the accounting and internal control systems as a service as a service to the entity. Internal audit can be defined as an appraisal system established by management for the review of the accounting and internal control systems as a service to the entity. Evaluation Evaluation of the definition from the definition, the number one key concept is appraisal system. Appraisal system. Appraisal system. Internal audit is an appraisal system. That is, it helps the management to monitor the performance of the entity. Then the second key concept is established by management. Established by management. Established by management. The internal audit department is established by the management as a service to the entity. So it is usually established by the management of the organization. Number three key concept. Number three. For the review of the accounting and internal control systems. Review of the accounting system. So review of the accounting system. Internal control system ensures that accounting system of the organization are properly processed. That is, it ensures the accounting system of the organization are processed correctly, or correctness of the accounting information. Number four, review of the internal control system. Review of the internal Control system. Review of the internal control system. Internal audit involves the review of internal control system, which are systems of financial controls, operational controls, and compliance control. Types of internal audit. Types of internal 
audit. Number one, we have financial audit. Financial audit. This involves the examination of the internal controls that are in place in the entity to minimize risk, identify weaknesses, and, record, and make recommendations for improvement in internal control system. So financial audit involves the examination of the internal control system that are in place to minimize risk, identify weaknesses, and make recommendations for the improvement of the internal control system. Then the second type is operational audit. Operational. Operational audit. This involves the examination of the internal controls of the entity and to establish whether the controls that have been put in place by management are operating effectively. So that is examination of the internal control system of the entity and to establish whether the controls that are put in place by management are operating effectively. We want to establish whether the internal control system that are put in place by the entity are working. So that is operational audit. Number three, we have compliance audit. Compliance audit. Compliance audit involves the establishment whether the significant laws and regulation are being complied with. You want to establish whether the laws and regulations are followed, whether the laid down rules and regulations are being obeyed. That is compliance audit. What are the functions of internal control? Functions of internal, internal audit, rather. Internal audit. Functions of internal audit. Number one, we have monitoring of internal control. Number one function of internal audit is monitoring. Monitoring of internal controls. Internal audit helps to monitor the internal control. Internal audit departments are usually given the responsibility by the management to review the controls, monitor the operation, and make recommendations for improvement. So that is monitoring. Then number two, examination of financial and operating information. Examination. Examination of financial and operating information. Operating information. Examination of financial and operating information. Internal audit department may be required to examine the financial and operation information so as to know the reliability and usefulness of those information. It may be required to examine the financial and operation information so as to know the extent at which the management can rely on those information and the, and the usefulness of those information. That is number two. Number three, review the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness of operations. Review, review the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness of operations. This is this is first E. This is another E making two. And this is another E, three, which is three E's. That is value for money audit. The 
3 is have to do with the value for money audit. Internal audit will be asked to review the value for money audit. Number four function is review of compliance. Number four function of internal audit. We have review of compliance. Compliance. So internal auditors will be asked to check the compliance with laws and regulations. You may be asked to check the extent at which the financial statement complied with laws and regulations, such as IFRS, IES, and other laws. So these are the functions of internal audit. So I will stop this video here. In my next video, I will continue from other aspects, not yet examined. Please drop the love emoji. Also, share the video with others. Thanks for watching, Ezekiel.